Okay, so today we're going to find the derivative rules of a few new functions. So we're going to start off with the sine function. Well, this is the graph of the sine function, and we want to find its slope. Well, if I notice, if I'm coming from negative, um, I guess it's negative, I don't know, negative values, negative 3 to negative 2, we notice that the slope is negative. And then here, the slope is 0. Now the slope is positive. And then here it's zero. And then we notice the slope is negative. So the behavior of the derivative is going to be first negative, go to zero, then positive, go to zero, and then negative. Can you visualize what that is going to look like? Well, here we have a little app to try this. So what I'm going to do is this red dot value represents the slope. So we can see that the slope is positive, 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 now zero. Now it's going to be negative because the function is decreasing. And then zero. Okay, well, let's draw that slope in. So the slope is positive, positive. It's still positive, but decreasing. Now the slope is zero. Now the slope is negative, 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 and now it's zero. So what function does this look like? Well, this looks like cosine, right? Because doesn't cosine start at zero, one? And you are accurate. So the derivative of sine is equal to cosine of x. Wow. OK, well, what about the derivative of cosine? Well, let's look at the slopes. We notice from the left, the slopes are negative, 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 negative. And then we get a 0. Or I should put the 0 there. That would make a little more sense. And then we have slope is positive, 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 positive. And then again, we have a 0 and then negative, negative, negative. So again, it has this oscillating behavior. Hmm, let's see on our little app what that might look like. So here I'm given the graph of cosine. And if I were to calculate these slopes, you see the slopes are positive, now zero, negative, now zero. Okay, let's drag this along and actually graph this. So the slope is positive because the function's increasing. Now the slope is zero. Now the slope is negative because the function's decreasing. The slope is still negative. Now the slope is zero. Now the slope is positive. So what function is this? Well, it looks like sine, but sine, when it starts at zero, sine goes positive, right? So actually this function is negative sine of x. So the derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine of x. So then let's do an example. If I have to find the derivative of this function, I'll first rewrite it as a power. So 2x to the negative 1 third plus 3 cosine of x. And actually, to make this more proper, this is f of x, not the derivative of x. I'm going to find the derivative. So I just rewrote the original function as a power function. Now I'm going to take the derivative. So to take the derivative of a power rule, we bring that to the front. So it's negative 2 thirds, and we subtract 1. So that would be negative 4 thirds. And we know that the derivative of cosine is going to be negative cosine. So it would end up being a negative 3 sine of x. Wow. So if I clean this up, I get negative 2 over 3x to the 4 thirds. We always rewrite our negative exponents as positive, minus 3 sine of x. Okay, let's have you practice some now.